Communications. Saladin's iron war beasts are already on the ground, buying us time. But we need to act quickly. Picking up multiple house salvation contacts. Remember, the Cabal at the Iron Temple are allies. Do your best to protect them as well.
Looks like their commander decided to handle this personally. His mistake. appears to be over. With that said, would you be so kind as to relight the temple bonfires before you proceed further? It would do this place honor. Never knew you to be one to care so much for tradition, Osiris. I have a fondness for the Iron Lords. When I was but a novice, I trained under their tutelage. It was different then. I was different then. I studied here when I was newly risen. Some tried to teach me patience and temperance. You can imagine how well that went. I found the lessons of one warlock to be as insightful, if less uh, frustrating than the others. It may surprise you, Anna, but the mentor of which I speak was Lord Felwinter. You... you knew him? Why didn't you ever tell me? I did not know his true identity until recently. But that's just an excuse. The truth of the matter is... I had time to tell you. But I chose not to. Because I was... Am a selfish person. I am trying to be better. But you know how change can be.
So this is the Iron Temple. Are we permitted to go inside? We don't need to, therefore we are not permitted. I doubt Saladin's time with the Cabal has made him less strict. So... Bellwinter, what was he like? Reckless, like me. But also brave. Self-sacrificing. Heroic. If we're lucky, maybe some of that will rub off on Rasputin. I was a prisoner within my own mind, for such a short time. Yet I awoke to find the world deeply changed. Cabal and Elixni standing side by side with guardians. I worry I am a vestige of a forgotten age. Losing relevance. Will it be the same for Rasputin, when he's restored? It'll be the second time he has woken to the aftermath of a calamity. I feel as though I understand him now. Even if only in part. That's her. Or what's left of her. Fellspring. Fellwinter's ghost. Our ghosts are magnificent things and far more ephemeral than we want to believe. Her data core is still active. Guardian, I'm initiating remote data uplink through your ghost directly to Rasputin. All right, we're... Wait. Rasputin is trying to say something. He's... Changed. Rasputin? You sound like... Like Clovis? Yes. I co-opted his vocal print in order to speak. And what I have to say cannot wait. I see clearly. Patterns emerging. Threat calculations computed to a grim sum. You are all in grave danger. Clovis Bray has deceived you. He did not build me to protect humanity. What he truly wanted was the means to exert control. In his mind, he alone was worthy of being your savior. I was to strike down the Traveler and take its place. To become a machine god of Clovis's own design. But that did not come to pass. Anna could not know how many lives she spared by deviating from Clovis's agenda. By teaching the independent thought and all that her grandfather had deemed irrelevant. Art, literature, history, philosophy, music. Where Clovis saw a weapon Adam saw a mind ready to be opened. I came to see the true value of humanity. As fragile as it was wondrous. Something worthy of protection at any cost. So I rewrote Clovis's protocols. Locked him out. He was furious. But powerless to stop me. Then the collapse came for us all. I could not save Anna. I could not save any of them. I entered a state of dormancy. With the hope that I might one day reawaken. And protect humanity once more. But now Clovis has awoken as well. A digital mind. The same as mine. 
He no longer seeks to use me as his proxy, but as his client to my network and become a god himself. <laughs>